So that is about positive period variant. So what is the difference between physical year variant and positive period variant means? By using the positive period uh, physical year variant, there I told the system to one month these and four special periods. Whereas by using the posting period variant, I can open the periods. Okay. So if I don't open these periods, no, the end user can't post the transaction in that period. That is about posting period variant. So how many steps? Create one. Suppose you have three company codes. Three company codes requirement is I can assign now N16 to multiple company codes. I need not to open the periods for three times. If three company codes requirement is same, I can assign this posting period variant. So simply to multiple company codes. One, one, only one time I can open the periods. This I can assign to multiple company. If the requirement is different, Yes, we have to create them separately. We have to open them separately. Okay, this is about posting period variant. Any questions? Next, okay. document type number range. Okay, so document type number range means actually the end user will post day to day activities right in the production server. When he posts day-to-day -day activities, system has to generate the document. When suppose he posted an entry, system has to give one number for that entry. When he posts a second entry, system has to give the one number for that second entry. How system will assign one number first, one entry? How system can able to generate the documents for that entries? We have to maintain the number range. So if I don't maintain the number range, suppose I maintain the number range one to one lakh here. So that whenever the end user posting the transaction, first time it will generate a one document, second entry, second document. So that is the way system can able to generate the documents. If I maintain the number range here. Okay, that is okay. What is document type? Number range is means if I assign system can able to generate the documents with I told. What is document type? What is the purpose of uh, what is the purpose we are having document types in SAP system? So before going to discuss that, let me discuss about in normal in normal accounting system what happens. You know, we have three locations. Say for example, we have three locations. We have a person from factory. We the person work from a different location at city office. The person is working at branch office. So we have three locations. And each location, one person is working. So the first person from factory, he posted an entry. Here, what I'm doing now, here I maintain the one to 100 number range first. If I maintain the one to 100, system can able to generate the documents for the entries. Okay. This one to 100 I maintain. So here, the person from factory, he generate, he posted an entry. Okay, so system generate the first document number. Again, the person from city office, he generate the, he posted an entry, system is generate the second document number. The person from branch, he posted an entry, generate the third document number. So here, the document numbers are continuously coming from the all the department wise. Whoever is posting, that is coming from one to 100. Okay, but my requirement is, I want to see only city office related documents, or I want to see only fact related documents. It is difficult for me because here I'm not maintaining the number range, particular location wise. This one to 100 system is taking this number, whoever is supposed to like, uh, from the uh, the person who from where he is post uh, from which location he is posting, it is taking from one to one hundred only. If I want to track particular location wise, no, I cannot track it. Right? So it is difficult for us to track particular location wise documents. To overcome this problem, we have the concept of document types. What is document types in SAP? 
say for example these are system defined document types which has given by sap so many document types are there here i am just showing the document types how it works i'll tell you okay here what i do know we have gl module right and uh, uh, sd module is there and uh, mm model is mm means purchase right what i do know i will take sa document type okay what is this sa document type under sa document type i maintain the 1 to 1 lakh number range i will take the re document type i maintain the number range 1 lakh 1 to 2 lakhs so re document type i will take 2 lakhs 1 to 3 lakhs so i will take the document type i maintain the number range fine so here the per end user whenever he is posting from gl module he will use sa document type only he will view the sa document that so the system generate the entries for him one to one lakh sequential suppose the purchase de uh, purchase department people they are posting some transaction they will use re document type system generate the for purchase department people from one lakh one to two lakhs in the same way sd guys so the gl end user using sa the purchase department people using re sales distribution people are using re ultimately what happened the end user from gl he wants to see only gl related entries in the report he gives just sa document type you can see only gl related documents if I want to see only SD related, just go give the RV document app. There you can see SD related documents. In the above case, it is not like that. So this one to one hundred I'm using for three locations, or right? So here I'm maintaining the document type, particular module wise. So finally, by giving that document type, I can see only particular department on. Right, this is the way. This is for what we have document type. So I'm taking the document type. Under that, I'm maintaining the number range. If I don't maintain the number range, no system can generate generate the documents for the end user transactions. So this is the document type, and this is the number range. Okay, any questions, ma'am? Yeah. Yeah. As you said, uh, number range. If if you uh, if you don't take document type, the number range will take wa whatever the entry made first, right? What you should not come again, please. Actually, uh, when you said about number range, uh -huh. if we don't define document type, it will. Uh, I mean, uh, whichever entry made first, the number range will take that number first, right? No, no. We have to maintain. That's what I am telling. If you don't maintain, there is no question. We have to maintain. Okay. okay. When uh, if you don't maintain, so system, after... yeah, this what I do know. I will take this SA document type from the system. Okay. This I will take okay. SA. There I should maintain one to one lakh number range. So okay. okay. If, if I don't maintain, okay. Now you are posting one transaction. How from there it can generate the document? Right, Vishnu? It can't. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, here I, I can able to maintain separately. That's what I'm telling. I can able to maintain for GL separately. I can able to maintain purchase by taking RE. I can able to maintain SD number range by taking RE. Whereas in the above case, it's not like that. We don't have like that option. Okay, okay. wherever it is in the above case, here, wherever it is, I have to maintain the number range. That is mandatory. Okay. But here I can able to maintain separately for each and sub module ones. These are okay. system defined. We no need to create them. So we have system defined. Okay. So this is num okay. you can see you know here. Yeah. This is zero one. This is system defined assignment. By using this zero okay. one, system is maintaining SA document type. Type by using zero okay. system can hold the RE document type. This is system defined number range. I will take that okay. and maintain the one to one. So, is it possible to see particular location documents here? That's what I'm telling you. No? Okay. 
So, it's for example, same. Hyderabad location, SA, uh, SA general ledger yeah, means yeah, we yeah. have to. Yeah, yes. Okay. So, we can maintain. If your client wants to see location wise, also, we can maintain. Okay. Location wise, also, you can maintain. I will take one more SB document type. Suppose I have two locations, Hyderabad and SB. So, I will okay. use SCA for uh, Hyderabad segment. I'll use SB for Bangalore segment. Okay. okay. So that also I will show you not now in the real time scenarios. When I uh, discuss about validation substitutions, I'll explain that. Okay. Okay. So that is about document types. Here, just after, just below that posting period, number range, no, num document header, define document type. Kiran, are you there? Kiran? Okay, so here I raise the screen OBA7, the T code. The T code is OBA7. So these are the document types. Okay, these are the document types. So many are there whenever, so since now I have to work on the GL model. So I will take only SA document type. When I go for asset accounting, I will take this AA document type. When I go for accounts payable, KR, KZ, KA. So whenever I reach that particular doc, uh, model, I'll take that. Since I want, now I'm going to work in the GL. So let me take SA document type. Yes, A. Yes, A. Just double click this. Okay, what is there? What is the number range it is given by SAP? 01. Okay, I'll take this 01 under 01 number range. Now go for number range information. Company code. Change interval. Okay. Insert. What is the number which is given by SAP under SA? 01. What is our physical year? Maintain the number range. 1. Say, I'm not going to use all of them. 1 to 1 lakh. Okay. So, under SA document type, I take in the SA document type, I maintain the 1 to 1 lakh. That SA I can use only for GL. Remember, GL model only. I will not use for purchase or something else. Okay. Enter. Till now, whenever I am saving it, it is showing the TR. But not for document types number range. It is not showing the TR. Jay, any idea about this? Not transportable. Yeah, why? Any idea about this document? Because we, ma we maintain in every system, right? Ah, yes. Okay, see, whenever I am doing this configuration, every time it is showing the TR, except for document types and number range. Not only here, when I go for accounts payable, they have to create the document, you know, maintain the number range. Whenever I go for account set accounting, Wherever I maintain the number range, system will not generate the TR. Okay, because this number range I am not going to transport to the production server because we are at the time of implementation. We don't know exactly what is the number range which want uh, the end user wants. Suppose uh, purchase department people they want one to one lakh. Okay. And uh, or else purchase department, uh, SD guys, they want to one to one lakhs, whatever it is. So that is the reason we don't going to, we are not going to carry forward this number into the production server. So directly before go live of SCP project, we can create in the production server directly. So this we are not going to create, uh, we are, I'm not going to transport this to the production server. Okay. I'm not going to carry forward this production server. Okay, fine. 
What is I am creating here? Can anybody guess? I am telling, okay, all the data written in this account, the physical year, posting period, everything I am saving it, I want to transport to the uh, production server. Anyway, I am not going to carry forward to the production server, but why I am creating here? Jay, tell me. For posting? Ah, exactly. Yeah. So here, I am doing the basic settings. In my development server, I am doing the basic settings. After completion of each settings, what I have to do, I have to perform the test. Testing in the sense, again, what? what end user will do on day to day activities that data I have to do test suppose i have to post one salary entry if i want to post one salary and in the development server there should be number range right without maintaining this in my development server how system can able to generate the entry this is for my testing purpose as a fico consultant when i do the testing okay system will generate the documents from one to one Understood? Others, please. Yeah, ma'am, understood. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, we can. One more topic is there. It will take much okay. time. Yeah, one one question. Yeah. So, hello. Hello. Tell me. Yeah. So, when you assign that, right? You assign to one company code. Uh, one document type mm -hmm. and one number range. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so in real time, so the FICO consultants have to do that. Let's say if there are a uh, thousand company codes, they have to do manually for all the thousand company codes. Yeah, there are some, in case of big organization, there are some specific tools are there actually. Okay. Intermediate okay. tools are there. In small companies, it's okay. In, in big organization, directly they can create no so they can use the tools intermediate tools they okay. can use that okay 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 so tomorrow is actually festival okay so i'm not going to take session tomorrow friday okay so again monday onwards you can continue okay okay so i Thanks. forward okay. Yeah, I'll forward all the videos. Hope everybody is there in the group now. Is it? Anybody is not there in the group? Please respond. Everybody is there in the group? Yeah, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. So I will forward the Monday onwards, Monday videos. Okay. Monday, only one video. And Tuesday, also only one video. Yesterday, two videos. Today's two videos. All videos I'm going to forward. And Monday onwards, I'll forward on daily basis because I want everybody to join in the group so that I didn't post yet. I'll post all the videos. Okay. Another two, three hours, I'll post all of them. Okay, then. So we can meet on Monday again the same time daily. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.